steal my process to create AI shorts. Very quick, very easy. I'm gonna use two things. I'm gonna use HeyGen AI, and I'm also going to use the captions app on my iPhone. So I will look up today's breaking news in Toronto and I'll hit the news tab and I'll see Ontario's jail conditions. That could be an interesting story. I'll actually take the full story and I'll copy it. I'll go to chat GPT and I will write, write me a 30 to 45 second YouTube short script with no prompts, just verbatim. Include the who, what, when, where, why, how in the script lead and optimize for viral YouTube video hook news and journalistic style. Be sure to include significant, interesting and new info in the video and make it engaging to retain watch time and viewership. Remove any irrelevant or boring info. Use controversy or people emotionally interested without sacrificing journalistic integrity. And it's okay that I spelled things wrong. ChatGPT doesn't care. And we have a script. There, Ontario's jail conditions are so bad, they're shortening sentences. That's pretty good. We're gonna take this. I'll actually go to the story to make sure the facts are correct. So I'm gonna see, are they shortening the sentence? Shorten, shorter sentences. A man robbing 16 stores, rob, that's correct. 104, don't include the snowstorm. Different story, do this again. So that could go viral. I can tell immediately this could go viral. I'm gonna then take this script. I'm gonna copy it. And I'm gonna go to HeyGen AI. For those of you that haven't used HeyGen AI, you can look at a tutorial, but it's very easy. It's about a $29 month subscription. I can upload my own avatar, my own face and clone myself. So this would be me. I will then click on this. Create with AI Studio. I don't want a video like that. I actually wanna do avatar video and portrait. Go down to my script, add my script, and I'm gonna record it here. That's pretty good. That's exactly what I want. I'm gonna choose myself as the avatar. That's my script. Submit it. I'm gonna call the video Shorter Sentences Ontario. Hit submit. Now let the video process and we'll come back. Ontario's jail conditions are so horrific they're changing the justice system. A Toronto judge just slashed the sentence of a man who committed 16 robberies, citing inhumane treatment at Toronto South Detention Centre. This so-called super jail has been plagued by lockdowns, staff shortages, and overcrowding, raising serious questions about human rights in Canada's prisons. Then I take this video and I airdrop it to myself. In the captions app, I go down to AI edit. Then I import the video. It's about balance, not just sacrifice. You need to grind. I can choose any of I'm these templates to, to automatically add not easy. It can be hard. To it's about balance. Now it's going to load. And once this is done loading, I will show you the full video. Ontario's jail conditions are so horrific, they're changing the justice system. A Toronto judge just slashed the sentence of a man who committed 16 robberies, citing inhumane treatment at Toronto South Detention Center. This so-called super jail has been plagued by lockdowns, staff shortages, and overcrowding, raising serious questions about human rights in Canada's prisons. Meanwhile, nine indigenous people have died in police encounters in just one month. Their names. So now you get the idea of how powerful, how quick, how automated, and how viral these videos can be. This is all optimized for watch time and retention. The most viral videos sustain about 70% watch time on shorts or more, if you get like over 100% where people replay your video, that video is likely going viral. So this is a very powerful technique. Viral B-roll usually changes clips every 1.7 seconds. So you can add more B-roll, but this is probably sufficient. Don't get me wrong, it's a bit of a scrappy workflow where I'm dropping things, but it's still fast. This is a great way to make powerful AI video without having to edit a single thing.